Schuster employees turn on company over publishing of Mike Pence memoir. This is the Wokotarians that insist that you have to have the right type of uh, rigid following of the orthodox world of Wokotarianism uh, bought for and promoted by and enabled by the DNC, the Democrat National Corporation, and it's uh, where we're, we're my brother Bill and I, he's the editor of the Freedomist, my identical twin, we're now referring to them as the, the corpus, cor, cor, corpo state nationalists, because that's what they are. They are a, a corpo state, but a particular type of corpo state, which is a nationalist corpo state. And they, they demand adherence to the, the right ideology. And to that end, we have Simon and Schuster employees that are turning on their own company because their company dares to promote well to publish and promote the memoir of Mike Pence and Mike Pence is too far outside of their orthodoxy for a publishing company to publish now remember publishing companies are the the very I guess you could say the the flagships of free speech and these people that work for a flagship of free speech are calling for no free speech dude so there you go that's the situation that we're in there i had a little bit of panic there i thought i saw that my audio wasn't going out and that i had recorded this whole show with no sound that would be devastating devastating but that's not the case we're still working we we've we've got we have contact folks we have contact so whew, that was a scare sorry about that mike pence book Simon and Schuster staff protest. So there's a topic report that I'm calling Simon and Schuster staff protest over own company for daring to publish Mike Pence memoir. And I'm calling this video Mike Pence book triggers Chim Simon and Schuster employees triggers that trigger. You can't you can't have uncomfortable views and perspective that could somehow hurt my feels because if you do that, you know, never mind that your actions also hurt the feels of others. But you know, it's a hierarchy of fields. The fields that are most valued and should be protected are the fields that align with this very narrow, orthodox, moral supremacist ideology that the DNC and the, the billionaires of America are utilizing as their vehicle of power to end competition. So they no longer have to worry about elections or markets. They can just control, and we will just take it, and then they'll be able to make us in their perverse upside down Christ image. So this is from the Blaze. There's an excerpt here from, from Breck Dumas. Employees of Simon and Schuster have delivered a petition demanding the publishers stop all deals with Trump administration officials, wherein they accuse the firm of perpetuating white supremacy. My gosh, are you kidding me? By going forward with a book by former Vice President Mike Pence. According to an exclusive report from the Wall Street Journal, Simon & Schuster CEO Jonathan Karp was aware that a petition was circulating when he announced internally last week that a memoir by Pence would move forward despite pushback from some employees. All told, 216 Simon & Schuster employees signed the petition, which equates to roughly 14% of the company's workforce. They also solicited the signatures of another 3,500 outsiders, some of whom were were oh, I, I, I gotta go see that some of were well what does that mean I, I gotta see that i gotta see that some of whom were well known stop tech censorship great were well uh, well known black writers okay i don't get that what does that mean if they're well known? So if you're a well-known black writer and you're signing on board with this whole diminishment of human beings because you're afraid of this this alleged... I mean, white supremacism is a real thing. All supremacisms are... There's black supremacism. There's all kinds of supremacisms out there. It's it's majorityism in general. where And majorityism is a local phenomenon by and large. Uh, so wherever there is a majority in any kind of locality, there will be some form of... And wh wh whatever the majority is around, whether it's a religion, whether it's any type of belief at all, whether it's a, a race or genders or whatever it might be, there's always this tendency for majorityism. Majorityism is just the effort to make sure that you hold on to your majorities. It's a worldwide phenomenon that has existed throughout all of human history, and it's not unique to any one group. 
the wokeitarians will have you believe that somehow white people invented this majorityism uh, but that's just just a bald-faced lie that flies in the face of common sense and uh, really historical understanding uh, but it is a convenient weapon of war to be able to use against your your detractors and for black black writers to hop on board to this authoritarianism this authoritarianism that will diminish them all will diminish all of us them included is is well it's it's actually it's kind of grievous uh, because it is our our liberality it is king bill king bill constantly prodded the parts of our government that wanted to deny king bill it's because of king bill the bill of rights the and, and the concepts the the idea of individual liberty where individuals are sacred in and of themselves that's where this idea comes from theoretically this idea comes from and if you're going to diminish king bill and that's what you're doing here you're diminishing king bill in the name of ending threats then you are denying the very king that freed you in the first place king bill freed the slaves king bill freed women and allowed women to vote king bill is what has been working on our hearts and minds and, and and confronting the way that we treated gay people the way we treated transgender people the way we treat human beings that might fall outside of our imagined orthodoxies and we live in a pluralistic land where everyone is a sacred person in and of themselves and that's what challenged us then now that all of these folks to some degree have been freed by king bill now they want to kill King Bill because they want to kill competition themselves. Once they got in the gate, they got inside the got inside the capital, so to speak, they want to shut the gate behind them and kill the very king that freed them. And, and that's essentially what you have going on here. Just some of the other headlines here real quick. 216 employees demand Simon & Schuster cut ties with Trump administration authors from Axios. Mike Pence booked to publish despite Simon & Schuster staff demands from IndyStar.com. Simon & Schuster president commits to publishing Mike Pence books despite staffers' demands from TheRap.com. Mike Pence signed a deal with the publisher that dumped Josh Howley from TheFederalist.com. Don't be like Mike, national opinion, Tucson.com. Another opinion here. Mike Pence memoir intrigues those awaiting from DailyIllini.com. And finally, hundreds of Simon & Schuster employees demand Mike Pence memoir not be published. And that is Politics USA, one of the worst. Politics USA and Crowder, they're two peas in, in the polar pod. 